I was saying all this stuff and I didn't hit record. <laughs> hey guys, uh, today is the, uh, my arm's already dead and I just started. Today's the day of my ultrasound. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, um, I have uterine polyps, endometrial polyps, um, and we've been trying to get pregnant for at least five years. Uh, with no success. We've been to a fertility doctor, but over the past couple of years, we've been more doing it on our own. Um, and then I've been bleeding for six months straight, uh, which hasn't been fun. So I went to the doctor, got checked out. They did a normal ultrasound and said that it looked like I had uterine polyps. So then I went to my OBGYN, which is um, new. I hadn't gone to her before. Uh, my family doctor had suggested her. So I had that appointment like a month ago. My dogs want to come inside. Um, I had that appointment like a month ago and it was basically just like a meet and greet. And then they scheduled today's ultrasound. So for today's ultrasound, they are going to pump my uterus full of saline. And then they're gonna do a 3D ultrasound and that will tell us like how many polyps I have, what size they are, and how big they are. I'm excited to uh, get this all taken care of and I'm excited to like get an ultrasound that shows like do I just have one tiny little baby one? Do I have five of them? Like, I don't know what the status is of these polyps. So I'm excited to figure that out. Um, and yes, but she did say to take pain medicine beforehand because I think that they're gonna do some kind of scope where they like take a little tool and they like go past your cervix, which is really painful. I've had a uterine scope before where they've um, had to go past my, or not, yeah. A, a uterine scrape is that what I said where they take a like sharp object and like put it past your cervix and they scrape your uterus um, I'm gonna take some pain medicine right now my husband's coming with me which is great um, he wanted to come with me but with work it's like if he got a call for work then he wouldn't have been able to come but luckily um, so far so good no calls for work so you should be able to go with me, which I am super happy about. So yeah, I'm gonna go get that done. Wish me luck. Um, kind of nervous just because I remember how bad my uterine scrape was. Like that just was so painful. And so I'm kind of expecting that. And I'm hoping that it's not that bad, but um, yeah. But I am very excited to like figure out the status of my uterus and um, obviously every step we take to solve this problem, um, the closer we get to hopefully being successful at getting pregnant. So we're gonna head to the appointment. I'm gonna take some pain medicine and I will fill you guys in when we are out of the appointment. So basically my cervix hurts. Oh, feather. So I got back from my appointment a little while ago. We went to Target to get a heating pad uh, because yeah, basically I'm having just like really bad menstrual cramps and I'm bleeding a lot and I have saline that is continuing to make its way out. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was not the funnest appointment I've ever had. So yeah, so I couldn't remember why she had to like put something up past my cervix, but then when I got there, I remembered, duh, it's because they have to pump you full of saline there's only real, really one way to do that. So she had to like stick a tube up there, which it doesn't sound that painful, but it is. <laughs> like a lot, especially since I haven't had kids before, obviously, and so my cervix has never been messed with, it, it's never been opened. Um, and I think I have like a complicated cervix. This is so funny that I'm talking about this on camera for people that I've never met to see. Um, but yeah, like I said in one of my other fertility videos, I either know how to be completely quiet about it or I know how to share all of it. I don't, I don't really know how to sugarcoat it. I don't really know how to like only share bits and pieces. So yeah, but if this isn't your kind of video, it's totally fine. It's hard to get something through there and there's lots of just like scraping and jabbing and not comfortableness going on. Um, and your cervix is long. Like, I don't know if you know, realize, but your cervix is like not thin. And so when she would finally get it through the like cervix hole, 
I would like feel her like jabbing all the way through. And then finally when she got past the cervix, it was like, ah, okay. So then that was when the thing was like in my uterus and then they pumped me full of saline. And then uh, she did the ultrasound and she did find two polyps. Um, she said that they were like about a pea size, uh, but she said that it's definitely what's been like causing the bleeding and the cramping and um, all that good stuff. So she found two uh, polyps. <laughs> P.S. This feels so good. <laughs> so once she saw the polyp, she wanted to go ahead and do a uterine scrape, which is what I got before, which is very painful. And so basically she had to um, take out the tube that she had put in and then go back in with a whole nother object. And then um, the last time I got it done, like she like literally scraped my, my uterus, which hurt like heck. This time she did like a suction pinch thing, which still really hurt. Like when she did it, she had to do it twice. And when she did it, I like yelled. <laughs> uh, Cause it feels like a really, really, really bad period cramp. And then it feels like you're literally being stabbed. So not fun. Um, but she did take some samples just to do a biopsy and just to make sure that the polyps aren't cancerous and my uterus isn't cancerous and all of that good stuff, which she said the chances of me having cancer is like one in a million. So, um, I'm definitely not worried about that. Uh, so yeah, so she did that. So between the, um, ultrasound where she had to put that thing in there and then take it out and then put a whole nother thing in there and then do a scope scrape thing blah, blah, blah. like <sighs> it was not the funnest appointment um, but I'm definitely glad that it's all over I'm glad that I'll be put under during the next little thing this is what the polyps look like so I just looked it up on Pinterest so those little um things in there that don't look like they should be in there. And I think that we don't realize like how small our uterus is because whenever you look something like this up online or in a book or whatever, um, the picture is very blown up, but your uterus is actually really small. Um, especially if you haven't had kids in this picture, these are probably about like how big mine are, um, like a pea size. Uh, so yeah. So if you didn't know, now, you know, uh, so yeah, so they just have to go in there. I have two of these babies in me and they just have to go in there and take them out. So the next step is scheduling a surgery. Not, it's not really a surgery. They put me under, she called it a surgery, but it's not like a surgery like you would think. They put me under and then they um, go through the cervix again and then they chop off the polyps and then they scope them out. We have our fertility appointment scheduled for March 6th. So we might have to um, push that back like a month so that I can um, get that done and then kind of recover and then go once I'm polyp free. I'm excited to go to the fertility doctor and um, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely um, getting my hope back and we're definitely getting um, excited again and and all that good stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in with uh, today's appointment. I will take you along with me when I have my surgery. Um, I'll try to vlog a little bit more. I didn't bring my camera, um, but there were some stuff that I probably could have picked up with the camera. So, uh, so yeah, so next time I will try to get more footage and not just me talking into the camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Thanks for all of your support. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm feeling um, much better today. Um, I'm just having like a little bit of cramping, but it just kind of feels like I'm on my cycle or something like that. But I thought that I would do a little bit of a weigh-in. <laughs> um, not my typical weigh-in. So I skipped a weigh-in, which I apologize about. And it hasn't been because um, I didn't want to do a weigh-in. Um, it was just because literally there was a scheduling conflict in my YouTube channel. And that sounds really silly. Um, but yeah, I could basically upload um, my Valentine's Day video where I was like doing the gifts and 
baking the cookies and all that good stuff. Or I could do the weigh-in, and I was just more excited to do the Valentine's Day <laughs> video. Um, I do think that I'm going to move my weigh-ins to being on Wednesday because before they were on Mondays, and that was kind of when I was still trying to like figure out my whole YouTube schedule. But now I am uploading my vlogs on Mondays, so if I kept them on Mondays, then one Monday a month I would have a vlog go up and a weigh-in go up on the same day. Because my, my weigh-ins are only once, it's supposed to be the first Monday of every month, so one way in a month, um, but I think I'm gonna do the first Wednesday of every month, so, um, because right now my Wednesday videos are like miscellaneous videos, so one Wednesday a month, my miscellaneous video will be a uh, way in. Why are you trying to always get on, on the action failure? Why? Are you a camera hog? Highly inappropriate, okay? Yeah. So on my scale, I was weighing 202, and then on the doctor's office scale, I was weighing 203 point something, but I had my clothes on. So I'm gonna say that I weighed 202 uh, flat, and I think the last time I did a weigh-in, I was 208, <laughs> literally. This is how she has positioned herself on mommies. Okay. Um, I was 208.1, I think, so I've lost a little bit, tiny bit, smidgen over six pounds. Really feather. So that is definitely great. Um, again, I've been kind of doing the same thing that I've been doing for the past few months, which is like kind of 50-50. There's days that I have really bad days, there's days that I have really good days. I think the reason why I lost a little bit more weight this month is literally probably just because it's been a really busy month and I haven't had time to eat sometimes. So yeah, I think that coupled with good and bad days where I've been on point and days where I haven't been on point um, has made it to where I have lost some weight. I have been getting compliments that I look thinner, which is nice. I don't see it yet. I'm definitely far away from uh, my monthly goals and all of that good stuff. So um, the journey continues. Thanks for your guys' support. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Thanks for watching. You don't have thumbs to give thumbs up, Moxie. You don't have thumbs. What does Dominita have to say about it?